What's going on guys, they are again here back in a Dragon Ball The Breakers Season 3 video and in today's video we're going to be showcasing a possibility that has um, been kind of elusive uh, for me for quite some time but we finally pulled it and that is Young Talent. So Young Talent, if you guys don't know what it does, it basically allows you to dodge and not be knocked back. So like uh, I feel like this could be somewhat useful for moves like uh, Ginyu Super Attack, especially when Jace and Bird are alive. Because typically when you try to dodge this move, you still get hit by something because the move is just so crazy. So this means that you will not be staggered while dodging in your dragon change. So I felt like that's kind of odd because why, if you're trying to dodge a move, typically you don't want to get hit by it anyway. If you do a good dodge, then this passive is kind of useless, right? So I feel like the way they should have used this passive or should they should have made it is that you don't get knocked back by anything. You don't take any stagger damage. I think that would have been better. But uh, if you guys don't know, there's a really big drawback with this passive that means that you take increased damage in your dragon change. Now, some people think dragon changes take enough damage as it is. So I'm actually really curious to see how much extra damage you take in your dragon change. So we're actually gonna run into practice first. I'm gonna take some damage and compare and contrast with uh, the passive equip, uh, equipped and not equipped, right? I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, pull up into practice and then we'll run some games. All right, I just want to show you guys this is me queuing up without the passive. Alrighty, I am pulling up to sell now without the passive. We're gonna see how much damage that we take. As you can see, it's not too much damage in turn of key blast. Let's see if he uses a super attack or anything on me. All right, the bot is kind of just doing its own thing. Move up close to see if he melees me. He does melee me. So that's how much damage we take as a level three without Young Talent equip. Now I will uh, come back and we will equip the passive. Alrighty, again, just want to show you guys, I do have the passive equip, so we can go ahead, uh, run this up, and see how we do. Alrighty, so now we're going to pull up on cell with the passive equips. Let's see what we can do here. I actually just died by accident. How are you at cell? So this is the damage that we're taking. We did get knocked back. Okay. Oh, we did get knocked back again. That's kind of, alright. That's not, that's not that bad. The, like, the damage that we're taking, like, I, I feel like I don't really notice... To be honest with you, how much more we're taking. Now, of course, we're going to be tanking a little more with uh, a level 3 versus a level 2. But it is pretty cool that you can avoid the knockback of the super attacks. Okay, there I, I goofed it. But I feel like the damage that we're taking isn't, like, that extreme. I was expecting it to be, like, crazy. But I just wanted to show it off how the passive actually works before we queue up. Just in case I wasn't able to show it. So there it is, boys. And uh, we're going to go ahead and queue up with the passive and see how we do in a real match. Welcome. Alrighty, for our match here, we are going up against a level 58 cell right into Waterfront Warzone like we did in practice. Let's go. In terms of our survivors, we have a 187, a 175, a 148, a 95, a 122, a 173, and a 171. So it is going to be a little difficult to showcase young talent because unless I'm like purposely like dodging into the super attack to avoid getting staggered, like I would just dodge the super attack. Like when it comes to cell, the only super attack that is like quote unquote undodgeable, I would say is volley. And for that, I'm actually very curious and I will be very aggressive fighting level three cell because I am curious to see how it impacts moves like volley that are typically very difficult to dodge otherwise. And you do get, you know, a lot of damage taken from the moves because of the stagger. So uh, I'm gonna see if uh, young talent does get some usage out of there. But I don't know about you guys, like, I didn't really notice the damage, like, disparity, like, that much. Like, with Young Talent uh, used and with it, like, not used, personally. I mean, obviously, you guys would know better than me since you can, like, rewind the video and look at the footage. But uh, for me, personally, I don't think it was that significant to say, like, Young Talent is, like, hands down bad. But it's just, like, a very situational passive. And I feel like for situational passives like this... You know, it, it's, it's hard to make the argument to, like, equip it, right? For, like, another uh, passive that affects dodging, like, unconscious control, you can make a better argument to equip that because that increases uh, how good your dodge is. Like, it increases the range of your dodge, making you more difficult to hit and allowing you to stall out raiders uh, longer. Where unconscious control is really only in effect if you're getting hit by the super attack or if it's, like, an unavoidable super attack, like Ginyu's uh, Milky Cannon with Jason Bird are alive, any of the volley moves and stuff like that. But like, uh, level 2 cell supers, you should be able to dodge those. If you get hit by them, it's your own fault, right? 
Alright, so we got a key. We're actually key rushing the hell out of this raider. I feel a little bad because it is quite tough to play so these days. Holy hell. He actually didn't key sense. Oh, he did key sense me. Got out of there. He's destroying an area. It makes sense, honestly. Alright, if you see my camera like make any like sudden movements, it's because like this controller has drift for some reason. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Wow, just like that, we're cooking. I don't, I, dude, I, I don't want to kill Cell, low-key, because I want to see him get his level 3. Hopefully he does, so we can see if it works good on Volley. I mean, worst case scenario, at the end of this video, I might run into practice if we don't get to see some of these things in the matches. Just because I want you guys to see, uh, you know, young talent in effect. So we got a couple Dragon Balls here. Oh, no. Take on. Take on. Right, I think I'll just simply dip here. No real reason to fight so. Plus, I do want to experiment. So I'll just get cooking on this key. Alright. I mean, this cell is in a very, very bad spot. This is why it's pretty difficult to play cell. Just because if you don't get a lot of sieves really fast or any uh survivor downs like it's very very difficult to uh, level up i already got somebody okay this will not give him his level three he'll be like one um you know thing of evolution away all right i'm just gonna set this key because why not he's got b and c to worry about i will go for the res though because it looks like cell is leaving my homie all righty I don't know if, uh, is that guy marking the key? I'm not sure, because some people are actually using the 99% uh, key strat and marking it, which is pretty nice. Alright, I'll give this guy a uh, barrier, so, uh, you know, he'll be safe and on his way. I owe you one. There you go, champ. Be nice if, like, Breakers rewarded you in some way for, uh, doing good, uh, you know, nature things like that. Okay, hopefully Cell actually gets this absorption, because I do want to fight him with Volley. Not much- not like I can do much to, uh, stop him from getting this anyway. Right, we should save this Civ. Oh, someone is stopping him? Damn. I'll take one PB at the rest. Damn it, bro, I want Cell to get his level 3. Okay, we got our level 3. Can't buy a soda just yet. Alright, so he is getting it. I mean, typically I would run in and stop him, right? But for the sake of the showcase, I do want to fight Cell as his level 3. And plus, I don't really think it's going to matter all that much. Okay. I mean, we're cooking on the STM. Everybody is up. Like, I think we'll be alright. We have a good couple Dragon Balls. I'm going to go ahead and run in and fight Cell. Maybe he uses volley. Okay. Does he use volley? Typically they use volley if they're struggling to hit. Okay! As you saw, I mean, we're getting cooked. Uh, we were able... Alright. As you can see... <laughs> uh, we were able to obviously not get knocked back by volley. I am kind of selling. But for the science, we got to see it, right? Oh wow! I was wondering why this guy was doing that. Uh, I guess they'll. I guess I'll stay in the. Wait, what? Dude, you just killed me. Why would you do that? This guy literally just killed me, and you killed yourself. Now he has his level four. I'm trying really hard not to be toxic, but homie just killed himself, and now he pretty much killed me as well. So, honestly, the team wants me to die here. Like, they don't really want, like... Because if I'm dead, then uh, Cell won't be able to get the absorption here. I don't know, in what world would you, like, revive me right in front of the Raider? That's just silly. But, we got to see the passive. Undeniably, is keeping me in the game. But, unfortunately, I think Cell is going to put a stop to that. It's alright. It's okay, boys. Just let me go. Just let me go. It's alright, boys. We win this game, so it's all good. The STM is too far gone for Cell to do anything here. 
All right, guys, you got. All right, I was gonna say you got to touch him, man. All right, GG. So unfortunately, we took the L. We weren't able to uh, live with our fellow survivors here, so we're not gonna get that many rewards for this match. But um, at least we got to see it, right? I mean, the damage was a lot, though. We did we, we did eat a lot of damage. So if we're using young talent to evade a move like uh, volley. I mean, it works, but at, like, what cost, right? Like, the cost of your dragon change anyway, right? If anything, I feel like the knockback might even be helpful because it knocks you away from the volley, and it gives you some iframes, I think. Or, I mean, you know, a little bit. I mean, you can't get chained into the volley, but it, I feel like it does give you some iframes that does help you. But anyways, we got to try it out. We got to see it. So let's go ahead and run up uh, another match and see if we can get any more use out of Young Talent. All right, we're actually going up against another Cell, to my surprise. Typically, you run into a lot of Ginyus, even some Vegetas these days, and Frieza's. Uh, but we got a level 67 Cell. We get right into Snowy Mountain. In terms of our survivors, we have a 148, a 171, a 175, a 122, a 187 myself, a 95, and a 173. So we have a pretty, uh, pretty stacked group here. Like, everybody's fairly high leveled. Like, everybody is, like, 100 and above, so... Uh, we'll see how this match goes for our Cell here. Again, Cell is pretty tough in terms of, uh, you know, on the Raiders end. I feel you got to get uh, pretty lucky with Civs, and you got to play well to get uh, Survivors killed and uh, to get the Absorptions right. Yo, W Scouter Actors, man. W. Alrighty. In the future, uh, let me know in the comments below, guys. Would you like me uh, to revisit Young Talent with Unconscious Control? And run like the ultimate vanish build in like Dragon Ball the Breakers. I feel like that would be interesting because like for Volley, um, I'm curious to see if I equipped Unconscious Control, if that would have made it so like the uh you know increased damage I took uh you know with the super attack is worth it since I was able to like get out of the super attack. In that case, I was able to get out of the volley, but by the time I did, I ran out of my change because I took so much damage. So. It might be super attack dependent. It might be dependent on how um, you know far you can go with your vanish, because I don't have unconscious control. But keep in mind, if you have to equip two passives to make one look good, you know, I, it definitely does decrease the value of Young Talent in my opinion for sure. Ooh. I thought he saw me. I think he was just shooting. Random. I might be dead here. Try and bob and weave. Bob and weave. Bob and weave. Okay. Did we get out? Woo! Hey, watch where you're shooting, buddy. Ah, right, we just narrowly escaped that, bro. That was very close, actually. I was playing a little loosey goosey. We were, we were pretty close to sell there. I should have been a little more cautious, but, um,. Thanks to IT, we did get out of that scenario and proving that you do not need a uh, barrier with IT. You really don't, guys. I mean, of course, you know, in the community, IT and barrier is kind of seen as like BM. It's kind of seen as, you know, bullshit just because there is no counterplay on the Raiders side to like handle, uh, you know, barrier IT besides Goldo. Besides Goldo, right? And you can use IT without barrier. You don't need it. And personally, I found that if you don't use barrier and IT, you become a better player because when you have barrier IT equipped, you do more riskier plays because you know you have a free get out of jail card, right? So I feel like it does make you a better player. But I'm not saying if you use barrier IT, you're trash. Just keep in mind that it does make things a little unfair on the Raiders side. But if you're solo queuing, you're fed up. I understand that too, but just keep that in mind. Let's see if we can get anything in the ship here. This guy might be clearing it out. Okay, we'll get some juice. Take a soda. And we'll be on our way. So again, for Cell, we're not really going to be able to take advantage of Young Talent unless Cell gets to his level 3. Because again, I should be able to dodge his Special Beam Cannon. I should be able to dodge his Full Power Energy Wave. Like, you're getting hit by those super attacks. I would say that is a skill issue, to be honest with you. Those, those super attacks are not really that difficult to dodge at all. All right, we are cooking on this guy. Everybody is up. We have five Dragon Balls. We have all the keys. Like, Cell is not looking too good here. He needs to find some sibs or something fast. All right, so I'm going to get cooking on this key. As with these guys. 
We just, saw, we just got a whole group, bro. We got a whole posse over here. Honestly, I might just set this key, man. Like, we're at such an advantage. Like, it really doesn't matter. And Cell is also all the way over here. The likelihood of him even getting to E fast enough to stop us is unlikely. I feel like we're, like, moving in a pack right now. <laughs> Sure what Cell was doing? Okay. Found me. Oh my god, I got the animation. Alright, I do have my key blast and I can literally counter cells. Alright, I can hit him with a super combo meha. Nice. Can I hit him with another one? Just missed it, he fell out. Okay. Let's get out of here. If he doesn't shoot me. Cell might just be dead here, bro. Cell might just be dead here. Super Soda too? My god. So I'll just drink the Super Soda. I need to waste the green yet. Oh my god. Like, bro. Like, guys, I understand that some people struggle in solo queue. And I understand that it, you can get the impression that Raiders are OP. But I'm sorry, just like... Like, this is... I am solo queuing right now, by the way. This is solo queue. I am solo queuing. Alright, let me... I don't know why I wasted it. That was such a waste of a soda. That was really silly of me. Like, look at this, man. This poor guy. Like, I, I feel like he didn't even get the play. Alright, I mean... I don't know. Do I do another match? I could. I could. But I feel like we've seen all that we could see with young talent personally like i don't know what else we're gonna see but uh you know what i will do i think i will hit up one of the homies i want to see if young talent can actually counter cyberman acid i'm very curious about that uh i think i don't know if the passive only works with super attacks i'm gonna go check uh what it says in the description but i'm gonna go hit up a, uh, one of the homies and see if we can uh test that out fuck ah. Dude, this is so hard to do. You're done. Fuck. Alright, 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 alright. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. I can confirm it doesn't work. It does not work. Alright, so we know that doesn't work. GG's. Alright, sick. Alright, guys. So that's the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Young Talent overall. I'm just going to beat the crap out of Shin just for fun disease. Um, honestly, I think as a passive, it's okay. And I think it does have some usefulness. But for like dodging moves like Volley, you take so much damage anyway. I feel like I didn't really like feel the value out of, you know, the move. But like for Special Beam Cannon and Full Power Energy Wave, that was kind of cool. But those moves you should be able to dodge anyway right so i don't know shout out to shin for helping me uh try this out and again let me know in the comments below if you guys would like to see me revisit young town with unconscious control to see if that makes this pass ability a little bit better i think in terms of the uh the added damage in terms of key blast it's not that crazy but for super attacks especially volley it's very noticeable uh that you'll be taking a lot of damage and losing your chains very fast but yeah boys that's the video like if you enjoyed comment down below your thoughts on uh young talent subscribe to rk for more showcases like these funny moments uh updates leaks all that good stuff and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care stay safe have fun peace out